Thank you so much, Galen. Thank you. Okay, so I have a riddle for you. What's the best way to get better at running without actually running? The answer? You know the answer. We all know the answer. We just hate the answer. So before I tell you about my ever-expanding collection of bands, I have to tell you about this conversation I had not that long ago with Olympian Galen Rupp. I know, like, what a weird flex, right? Oh yeah, I was just chatting with Galen Rupp. You know, fastest American marathoner alive. Oh, no biggie, just me and Galen, swapping war stories. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, I was chatting with Galen doing an interview before the New York City Half last month. And when I interview people, I like to shoot the crap a little bit, you know, just get a good read on them. And a lot of times I'll just say whatever pops into my head. You might not realize this, but Galen, like me, has been dealing with a glute injury over the past couple months. So we started talking about physical therapy and training and, well, this came out. Do you hate strength training as much as I hate strength training or no? So how do you think he answered? Because I found it very illuminating. It was essentially, no, I don't hate it. I actually love strength training. No, I, I like lifting. Yeah, I've always been a little <laughs> bit of a gym rat, so it's easy for me to get in there. So we moved on and talked about other stuff, but that response stuck with me. Love strength training. Ugh. Really? How? What? How is that even? What? Weeks later, it hit me. It's been said oftentimes that people who are at the very top of their fields, whether you're talking about sports or art or uh, business, it's been said that those people tend to be a bit obsessive, but not necessarily obsessive over the results, obsessive over the process. That's the day in and day out. That's the part you really can control, the work you put in, how you prepare. Look, I'm not trying to be a professional runner, but I do want to be a better runner. Better as in stronger and more resilient, with fewer injuries. I like to be able to keep running until I'm really, really old, comfortably. And that's going to take a lot more than just putting in miles. It's not, you're not going to get it done in one session, or one treatment session, one weight session. So it's, it's really about consistency and doing things day in and day out. So it's back to the bands we go. After running the New York City Half, I've had some people ask me about what was next. And I mentioned in my last video that this next big training block might be the most important I've ever had. Well, this is it. I'm calling it Building Corey 2.0. I know, it's a, a bit underwhelming, but that's kind of the point. I need to frame this for myself so I can bring the same energy to it that I do when I'm closing in on race day. Yes, I'm still running four, five, six days a week, but instead of having strength training just be this sort of afterthought thing, I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna see what happens if I put it first for a few months, make it the priority. And if I'm right, I'm gonna start marathon training in the summer as a faster, better, stronger, more resilient runner. If I'm wrong, I've wasted a lot of money on bands. So many bands. <laughs>